How's it going, everyone? Welcome to Flick of Things. My name is Daniel. Going to be doing a reaction to none other than The Mandalorian Season 3. Um, man, I've been excited for this one. I'm not going to lie. You know, they've been on a hiatus for a while now, actually. Um, I've just been super excited for this uh, show because it's like one of my favorite shows um, on TV. And I'm a big fan. I'm a big sucker for Star Wars. Not the new ones, the, the, the sequel stuff or anything like that, but more so... Um, the older stuff like the old trilogy and then the prequels but the only thing I do like that's new uh, in this era I, I would say is Andor and The Mandalorian those two shows I love so um, yeah enough of the talking on with the reaction then you are a Mandalorian no more How it's can been I banished know? super excited let's go excited to see him join or go back to the land of Mandalore and see See what happens there. We'll, we'll, we'll find out. Got some clanging in the background. Okay, sounds like forging of a weapon or some of some sorts. This reminds me of uh, Lord of the Rings when the forging uh, uh, sword. Uh, I forget the name. My mind's going blank, but y'all know what I'm talking about. The sword that uh. The cut the ring. I swear on my name and the names of the ancestors that it's I shall walk clean -looking the way of the Mandalore. Hot off the press. That I oh no! All right, kid. That's, that was a chance to prove yourself. Kill that thing. <laughs> oh, someone got eaten. CJ looks pretty impressive. Not gonna lie. Damn, look at that shot. <laughs> nice. There he is. Good douche. Oh, yeah. He's done. Ando coming to save the day. Let's go. <laughs> Did you miss me? <laughs> nice. What an entrance. Now, that's the way to start a show. I always feel like he walks kind of funny. <laughs> Has a little spot on top. It's funny. Well, he's taking a nap or what? I think I feel like they had different plans for Grogu, the showrunners, and then they realized how much fans loved him, so they kind of rewrote him back into the story because he wasn't gone for that long. <laughs> Ugly looking creatures. Let's continue this conversation back in my office. This, this is a school. Well, that explains why she wouldn't let me inside. <laughs> <laughs> the old bar turned to school now. We drink here. Oh. That is a school now. I say. It's Don't mess with our boy. Sheesh. What is it? Two against five? Yeah. Never mind. They're no match against Gro Grogu. <laughs> About to start a war. <laughs> sure, you want to let him go? Now he's just gonna come back. <laughs> I like those two little robots just carrying his robe around right behind him. I need a marshal. What about Marshal Doom? After she brought in Moff Gideon, she was recruited by special forces. And what came of Gideon? <laughs> so that's our way of writing Gina Carano off. We've got plenty of droids around here. We'll find you one, I guarantee you. Let me give it a shot. So try to fix him. There. Yeah, but he's got no legs. It's like hot wiring a car, huh? So that's all he did. He just put two wires together and fix them like that. <laughs> Man, I could have done that. Oh. <laughs> Sticks are so ugly. <laughs> I don't understand. Do you speak a tease? Thing sounds like it's about to break down. This here is your hyperspace map. You determine your range by looking at your fuel gauge. 
I'm curious what cameras they're using, because, man, they got really sharp. Hang on, kid. We got pirates. Oh. <laughs> uh, of course. He's back. Here we go. Things about to get down. Let's go. Oh no. Going upside down. Oh nice. <laughs> Too bad he don't have like those sonic wave uh, bombs. Like the ones uh, Jango Fit had. With the cute little sound effect. <laughs> yeah, it definitely looks like it's like higher production compared to the other ones. This one looks like like a movie pretty much. Dang, it's kind of a, from behind. Sheesh! Bring the Mandalorian to you, Captain. It's gonna survive. Oh, it's a trap or what? Oh no! Come on, Grogu. Use the force. Never, Kid. Never trust a pirate. <laughs> Sheesh. <laughs> Guy looks disgusting. Looks like a pot of turd. Who's he meeting up with? Bo Katan. Bo -Katan. Oh yeah. Let's see. <laughs> Man, she's big chilling. So you gave up your designs to retake Mandalore? Let me have them then. <laughs> I am going to Mandalore so that I may bathe in the living waters and be forgiven for my transgressions. And I will find out if the planet is really poisoned. He's on a mission. Goodbye, Din Djarin. All right, so that's going to do it for that episode. A solid intro, a solid uh, introduction to season three. I I really enjoyed it. It's just I don't know, there's just something about the Mandalorian that just brings me like gets me all uh cheerful and just like makes me feel good inside. It's just like a it's a it's it, it kind of reminds me of like old school westerns, you know, and and you're just going on an adventure with uh, the Mandalorian and his sidekick, you know. So I mean that's just why I love the whole uh, series in general is just because it's not trying to be too serious and it's not trying to be too goofy. It's just like it's in the middle. It's a solid balance where I feel like not only can adults enjoy, but kids can enjoy and, you know, the family. And it's just, it's a, it's a, like I said, it's just a solid series. And you could tell Joe, John Favreau and uh, Dave Filoni, they put a lot of heart into these uh, episodes and stuff. And they, it does show. And um, I really, I love the intro. That was pretty awesome. And it looks like we're headed towards the direction of, you know, Mandalore. But obviously there's some obstacles in the way, you know, with the pirates at the end, which I also enjoyed too. I thought that was pretty awesome. The whole fight scene, thought it was really done well. The CGI was great. It wasn't rushed. It didn't feel like like a Marvel MCU movie where like the CGI is just rushed and it looks really bad. Like this looks solid. Like I was saying in, during my reaction, it, like, it feels like a solid like, it doesn't feel like a TV show. It feels like a movie, like, just the way the production value is. So, yeah, like I said, they run into obstacles, you know, with the pirates. And then, you know, he's trying to uh, fight and join, I guess, join bo and um, Recruiter, I guess. Um, we'll see where that goes. Obviously, we're not going to see the last of her. She's going to come back. And you can tell, like, he's on a mission. You know, people are, well, not people, but, uh, um, oh, my God. Uh, Carl Weathers, I, I, for, I forgot his name. I'm forgetting his name. But his character, you know, he's trying to, hey, like, man, settle down here. You know, everything is great here. You and your 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 boy, your, your little one, uh, could just, you know, enjoy life here. And you could be the marshal here. Just, you know, keep people in check. You know, that's the life. But obviously, he takes pride in um, in his culture, I guess, um, being a Mandalore or being a Mandalorian, whatever you want to call it. And um, he wants to regain his his status back, so he's obviously on a mission. But yeah, like I said, solid episode. I I, I really enjoyed it from start to finish. Um, I I think it's a great kickoff to the show. It's everything you expect in a, in a Mandalorian show. Simple storytelling and stuff. 
but um like i said that's what i love about the mandalorian it's just it's it's just fun action adventure it's like uh cowboys in space and it, it's pretty awesome it's like a good old-fashioned western feel and i love it and honestly don't have complaints um about this episode it wasn't too long i wasn't too short i mean maybe a little short i don't know i thought i mean I, like i feel like uh, these uh just the type of uh show this is it doesn't really need to be an hour long i think 40 minutes is like the good duration um because like i said it's just an action adventure show it's not like a serious drama where you know you got to do a lot of build up you got to do a lot of um character building world building you know um it's just like a uh, simple story you know and um so yeah like i really don't have complaints about this episode solid episode i'm gonna give it i'm gonna give it a five out of five to be honest um great start great uh kickoff to the uh to season three and um yeah so anyways that's gonna do it for my reaction uh hope you guys enjoyed the video and i catch you guys next one see ya